Everyone's talking about the rising cost of living here in Australia. Many Australians are struggling to keep up with cost of living. How can we afford this? And now inflation is the highest it's been in two decades. So today I'm going to share 12 and a half ways that you can save money here in Brisbane. Some of the tips in this video will be useful pretty much anywhere in Australia. Some of them are more specifically related to Brisbane. And they'll save you money on groceries, fuel, public transport, dental, household appliances, kids' toys, camping and sporting equipment. First, I'm going to share three ways that you can save money on your grocery shopping. If you're already subscribing, you'll have seen my video comparing the price of fresh produce in supermarkets with produce in green grocers. Finding a good green grocer will save you a heap of money, plus many of them are open 24-7, which is a bonus. But it's not just fruit and vegetables you can save money on. Golden Circle factory outlets sell pretty much anything you'll find in a regular supermarket, but much, much cheaper. And there's one on the north side in Moray Field, and one on the south side in Kapalabar. Products here are discounted because of small packaging imperfections, oversupply from manufacturers, being close to the expiry date, or sometimes because it's an old packaging design. I got these items here and it came to $31.25. Based on the cheapest supermarket prices I could find, it would have cost $86.30. So even with the cost of fuel to get there, it was still much cheaper than shopping in regular supermarkets. I also now get the hazelnut syrup I like in my coffee there, $7.50 a bottle, and that's almost half the next cheapest price I could find anywhere else. My third tip for saving money on groceries is also a way that you can save money on a heap of other things. If you're an RACQ member, and if you're not, you can join for $20 $26 a year. You can buy e-gift cards, which have a discount of between 4 and 10% off anything from groceries at Woolworths to fashion, pharmacy, furniture, electronics, and the list goes on. And that brings me to fuel because RACQ members also get four cents off every liter of fuel they buy at a Puma or other participating service stations. And while we're on fuel discounts, you can actually save quite a bit if you spread out your grocery shopping across different outlets. Let me explain. If you shop at Coles and then take your receipt to a Shell Coles Express petrol station, you can get four cents off each liter of fuel you buy. But if you spend $20 or more in the service station's shop, then you can get a further 14 cents off per liter. That's a total of 18 cents off each liter of petrol that you buy there. Likewise, if you spend $30 or more at Woolworths and then spend $5 or more in the service station store at Ampol, then you get four cents off plus another four cents off for each liter of petrol that you buy. But you don't want to just rely on these discounts to save on fuel, especially when the price of petrol is about to jump by 22.1 cents on the 29th of September when the fuel excise reduction ends. The price of petrol can vary greatly from retailer to retailer and from suburb to suburb, so using an app like Petrol Spy can actually save you a heap. Just this week, I filled up for $1.53.9 when other places nearby were selling it for as much as $1.86.9. No grocery discounts will save you 33 cents per litre, so you really should be using an app like Petrol Spy. Another useful app is the 7-Eleven fuel app, My 7-Eleven. It allows you to find the best priced fuel at a 7-Eleven near you and then lock in that price for seven days. This can be really useful when you know that the fuel price is about to jump, but maybe you've still got a full tank of fuel. And if you've got kids that you need to drive to school or that take public transport to school, you may be eligible for the Queensland Government's School Transport Assistance Scheme. You need to be more than 3.2 kilometres from the nearest primary school or more than 4.8 kilometres from the nearest high school to be eligible. However, people who live closer may still be eligible in certain situations. So you should visit the link in the video description and have a look to see if you're eligible or not. But it's not just school students who can save when it comes to public transport. If you live here, then you'd know that if you use your Go card, then you're saving 30% off the paper ticket prices to travel on public transport, and that children under five travel for free on all TransLink services. But there's a few other things to keep in mind if you want your dollar to go further with public transport. If you travel in off-peak times, you get a further 20% off your fare. 
Also, after eight journeys in one week, the remaining journeys will be half price until the following Monday. So it's better to save your longer journeys for later in the week if you can. Also, senior or green concession go-kart holders are eligible for free travel once they've made two journeys in any given day. And finally, children aged between 5 and 14 get to travel absolutely free on weekends. Dental care is expensive, but if you have a child and receive a government benefit such as Family Tax Benefit Part A or a number of Centrelink payments, you may be eligible for up to $1,026 in dental benefits over a period of two years. Again, details are in a link in the video description. The ninth way you can save money in Brisbane is one that can help you, but also can help others. Brisbane's op shops have surprisingly good clothes, toys, books, furniture, all kinds of things. And the money raised from sales go to charities like Lifeline, Save the Children and RSPCA. This week I went to Stone's Corner, which has a bunch of op shops in a 200 meter stretch. And I was surprised by how many brand new clothes I saw, still with the tags on. I hadn't planned to buy anything, but I needed a new hat. So when I saw this one for $5 brand new, I had to get it. I looked it up and saw it on sale for $10 at Maya, reduced from $24.95. So ultimately I got 75% off the price. I couldn't do a video on saving money in Brisbane without mentioning outlet stores. Most people know DFO, Direct Factory Outlets, which is a particularly good one for finding bargains on clothing. But with over 140 stores, you can also save on things like luggage, homewares and jewellery. There's two DFOs in Brisbane, but I'd only really recommend the one at Skygate near Brisbane Airport. But if it's appliances and white goods that you're after, check out Brisbane White Goods Factory Outlet at Archerfield, Inaugura, Tingalpa or Slacks Creek or Queensland Appliances at Bowen Hills. If you've got kids, you can save a heap of money by borrowing toys from a toy library instead of buying them. Some of them are free or some of them you have to pay annually, but by borrowing toys, your children get to play with a wider range of toys and you don't have to deal with the clutter of toys accumulating in your home. You can find toy libraries near you by visiting toylibraries.org.au. The next one's only really half a tip because although it's a really great one to know, because of damage sustained in the 2022 floods, it's actually not open at the time I'm making this video. And that is the Brisbane Tool Library. Despite the name, it's not just tools that you can borrow from the library. They also have furniture, camping equipment, sporting equipment. So if you're looking to do some DIY work at home, or maybe you want to go camping for the weekend, instead of buying tools or buying camping equipment, you can just borrow them from the tool library. They're still trying to get it up and running again, but as long as you're subscribing to this channel, I'll let you know as soon as they open in the community tab of the channel. The next one's not so much a way to spend less, but a way that you can perhaps make some money by doing something that you're probably already doing for free. Every second week, people across Brisbane put out their yellow littered bins to have their recyclables collected. What you may not know is that things that you're putting in that recycling bin, you may actually be able to sell to containers for change. You can drop the items off or even have them collected from your home. If you don't need the spare change, you can elect a charity of your choice to actually donate the money to as well. For details about which containers are eligible or where the nearest containers for change depot or location is near you, then check out their website in this video's description. You may know other tips for saving money here in Brisbane, so be sure to let us know. Be part of the conversation in the video comments below. Actually, a lot of the videos on this channel have a wealth of insight from Brisbane locals, and so it's definitely worth sharing what you know and also having a look at what other people have to say in the video comments. If anything in this video was useful to you, then hit the like button so that YouTube knows to show this to more people. If you're thinking of moving to Brisbane or you're new here, this video may be helpful to you. And be sure to subscribe and let me know what you'd like to see more of in the video comments. I'll see you in the next video, that's it.